Hey everybody. Hi. We just finished day one at the U.S. Surf Open. We did. Everybody on the team did really well. We gave out thousands of tracks today. Mm -hmm. uh, we gave out Gospel of John's and we had lots of divine appointments yeah. and blessed encounters. Yeah. Um, the entire day kind of starts to string together. together. I'm yeah. a little tired. It is 9.30. 30. We had a very full day mm -hmm. and we walked the pier twice carrying the mm -hmm. cross. Yeah. We led different uh, people in prayer to you know, open up their hearts to Christ um, on the pier and also just out and about, you know, a drunk guy came up to me with a girlfriend who's lost as well and he was like, hey, you know, um, I'm just not where I need to be, prayed for him and, and different things happened. Did you have any things um, you wanted to share? I guess there were a couple encounters. One was when we were on the pier, you were talking to a young guy about uh, being born again and he said he was and his friend said he was and then the one friend said he wasn't and so we were ministering to these three oh, guys for a while. Guys, yeah. But then at the end, um, this young guy basically gets convicted, I think about drinking or something. And he's like, I'm just going to go drinking sin. this Sunday. Well, before that, he was getting convicted about some sin. And I, he's like, God forgives us. And he gives us grace. And I said, you know, I sinned with the best of them. And I was an alcoholic. And, you know, God showed me I wasn't saved. That whole yeah. time I was sinning, I wasn't saved. And he got really convicted after that and started kind of opposing us. Whereas the whole time before that, he was like on our side and saying, yeah, I believe in Jesus. And yeah. then he walked off saying, I'm going to drink this weekend anyway. Yeah. So it's Demons like, manifest. Okay, it's like, you you don't really love Jesus or know yeah. the Lord. So many people in this area that think they're uh, Christian or saved because maybe they you know pray to prayer, but it's like they don't love God, which is clear because when people start to manifest or curse or you know even curse, it's so crazy. You would think like, how can somebody start to curse and swear? How can people deny Christ after having said mm -hmm. that they believed in Him? And it's like. You know, you see it happen um, yeah. because conviction begins to bring everything to the surface. Mm -hmm. But the Lord was moving. Everybody did really well. Yeah. We have 11 people out there. Mm -hmm. Somebody we met at Costco last came night out came out to, uh, share, to the share the gospel. And he was so blessed. He was like, I haven't done evangelism in 25 years. Um, I guess like street evangelism. And so it was really blessed getting to have somebody that we met getting people all getting pizza. You know, come out to our outreach. Then at the end of the time, we met some young people that were trying to live for the Lord, mm -hmm. and they were like, "Yeah, we'll definitely come out and and grow in evangelism." So God's moving out here. Yeah, I gave them gospel tracks. I said, "I have a challenge for you. Give this out." Yeah. And they're like, "Okay, we'll take the challenge." And we are doing that. We're giving out tracks to Christians and saying, "Like, will you take the challenge, challenge. of sharing the gospel mm -hmm. and fulfilling the Great Commission?" And they're doing it. So yeah. there's some young guys mm -hmm. who were uh, Syrian, and they were Christian or. Um, some kind of like Syrian Orthodox and they seem to really have genuine testimonies love the Lord and I gave them each five gospel tracks and they're like we'll do it we'll we'll share the gospel I think that was someone today I, I don't know if it might have been before you did it really yeah and the, I because I did it with someone else I was like yeah I was like I gave them five I said here I have a challenge for you yeah there's five gospel tracks give them out yeah because if you funny. get if you get more people sharing the gospel and fulfilling the Great Commission then you have more reach and so that's what we're out here doing and we're inspiring Christians also because mm -hmm. they see us they'll talk to us there's a lot of people giving us thumbs up mm -hmm. a lot of people saying we're grateful that you're here and then a lot of people that are just lost and people that are deceived and so we're preaching Jesus and lifting up his name because yeah. there is power in the name of Jesus yeah and so we have to finish up this video because we have to get in have dinner with everybody everyone has to shower mm -hmm. um, what is it? Wash, rinse, repeat, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, then we have to um, eat, sleep, repeat, sleep, repeat, and yeah. have a full day of evangelism yeah. tomorrow. And then all of a sudden, you guys are going to watch this video, and it's going to be day nine, and we're going to be like, "Whoa, we made it through a uh, full nine days but of ministry." We would say ground yeah. seems harder here. Here, I'll hold it. You'll ground, hold it. Thanks. Yeah. Ground seems harder here than um, where we were in New York. It and definitely is a different. Yeah, it's a different feel. It's a different. Um, it's like having to plow the ground or till the soil um, yeah. as we start out. And so th these first days are more, I guess, difficult for us or rougher for us. I mean, I definitely, we encountered a lot of demonized people at Today. the very beginning. I'm sharing the gospel and with someone who claims to be a Christian and she's saying, don't teach people to obey, teach them to believe first. And I'm like, I'm telling you to do what Jesus said to do, which is teach everyone to obey all that I have commanded you. Yeah. So... Anyways, a lot of opposition, a lot of resistance. So please pray for yeah. us, pray for our team as we um, pierce through the darkness and oh. kind of challenge the principalities I'll, here. I'll, sh I'll share it too. Yeah. There is a big YouTube ministry 
the does okay, evangelism I'm gonna switch sides so we'll just switch real quick yeah there we go and somebody on part of this ministry called the police on us or well they threatened to call the police on us because we were there preaching they were mm -hmm. like you're not allowed to use amplification and it's like hey you know we're preaching the gospel um and he actually I saw him talk to two officers and he's like, you, you know, you're overpowering me. I mean, we were there like way before him, like preaching. And, uh, he was like, well, I come here every Saturday and you know, you're overpowering me. I can't preach the gospel. And I'm like, I, I, I turned the speakers down and, uh, you know, I'll move, move them. And he actually, there's police walking by and I looked over and he's talking to the police. And then not long after they shut down some of the amplification, uh, by God's grace, there's some, ins and outs to the amplification so it's not like a total thing but i was shocked and i don't know i just thought i would share about that because um i'm praying about like if i'll share what the ministry is but it's like a very big ministry out in the area um and i would never expect a believer to go to the police to shut down another, another believer. believer when the gospel that we're preaching i somebody told me that he was going to call the police and i was like no no like he thinks we're not he probably thinks we're like crazy he hasn't listened to us and i because i met him while we were here last year and it was like a big shock and i went over to him and he i mean there's conviction of god but he's like well you know you're not allowed to do it and i was like yeah but you weren't allowed to preach the gospel in rome either like just because they tell you that you can't uh preach the gospel a certain way doesn't mean necessarily that um you should it's a law it. of god like just because somebody says hey you know you're not allowed to do that well what if god tells you i want you preaching the gospel you gotta you gotta preach the gospel and their souls on the line so it was just a really weird experience at the beginning of the day where a much bigger ministry somebody in that ministry had like a territorial component where they were like oh you know you guys are kind of encroaching on my space so i'm gonna make sure that you guys can't do it because i'm not allowed to do it and it's like i thought we're all trying to spread the word spread the word so yeah you know so we're encountering opposition yeah so please pray for us pray that you know principalities are bound strongholds are torn Amen. down and there's just a real like railroad or highway for the gospel to go forth and reach people's hearts yes amen. amen in jesus name amen amen god bless you guys so thanks for watching this amen and if you want to support this outreach you can do so um below we because we've done so much in dc and we're in new york city mm -hmm. we have not done a lot of support raising for this trip um you know for an outreach we're behind on support raising um we're trusting god god is faithful but if you do feel led to support this outreach it is a really powerful thing to be mm -hmm. getting the gospel out Amen. especially in this area and we're encouraging believers helping believers out here too so it's a really needed necessary ministry so thank you guys and uh, thanks for watching the video. God bless. Bye. Bye.